Well, and in Kenya, of course. Uh, yes, there are two antelope that have... Oh, there... <laughs> you go again with that. There is an antelope, or well, not strictly an antelope, I suppose. It has two breeding seasons. Uh, it is the springbok, of course, of South Africa, the national animal of South Africa. It's favorable. Impala will sometimes do it as well. And we know that impala do have two breeding seasons, but they don't necessarily breed twice, if you know what I mean. So those that don't go in the first one will get pregnant in the second one. But I have definitely read and heard that springbok will sometimes breed twice a year. And I wonder if the Thompson's gazelle doesn't do the same thing. This lion is a, neither a Thompson's gazelle, nor a springbok, nor an impala nor does he have any form of distinct breeding season. And his ilk, of course, will only breed once every uh, sort of three years or so. Now, I, I mean, he has eaten something over the last, poo, I'd say, 12 hours or so. And I'm in two minds as to whether we should remain with him, but we're so close to the herds that I think we probably should. Oh, Janet, you say, do you, I think there are more leopards, lions, or cheetah in the Mara. Janet, I'm 99% sure that you'll find that there are far more lions than there are anything else out here. Oh, there's some zebra coming straight towards him. See those, Vimpy? They're just straight over the front of us. I mean, the chances of him taking one of them on, I think, very small, but he might. And there's a little one. Hashtag Jeopardy. That's a little in-house joke, everybody. We're supposed to be pushing the Jeopardy of the situation. There is some Jeopardy here, though, genuinely. Let's just watch him carefully and see if he gets up. I mean, the wind is blowing from him to them, so he's not going to smell them. I have some theories about them smelling him. And I think it would be quite interesting to see if they... He's very well hidden from them. And I don't think that they're going to pick a scent up, and I think that's because lions don't smell. I know that might sound ridiculous, but I think they take a great deal of care not to be smellable by their prey. And they're very fastidious about staying clean, we know that. They're heading off sort of in an opposite direction. It's a pity we're parked where we are because I think you'll find... Ooh, ooh, look the other way. Just behind you, chum. Behind you. Just there. Uh-uh. Just behind you. Look. Yes. Yes. Keep going. Yeah. Yes. Just turn. Turn your head. Turn your... Yes. Yes. Well done. Now I'll go and catch one. Go on. No one's going to do it for you. There's a little one there. No. Not interested. Grass is long, it's perfect hunting conditions, windy, they can't hear anything. All right, we're going to sit here and see what happens here. Brentley Smith has managed to find two lions.